The Central Mountains of Focal Point for storm development this afternoon. We've got some strong storms positioned just off to the north and west of Roswell. Here's Roswell right here. Of course, we've got Ruidoso, and we'll be watching these storms as they drift slowly to the south and east. Right now, though, we've seen some heavy rains into the Sacramento's and areas northward, and we do have some flooding concerns out there as well at this time. So, showers on and off. Uh, for the next couple of hours for the Sacramento's and again we're watching as storms continue to drift towards Chavez County and could be drifting into the Roswell area. So tonight we will see a few spotty showers hanging on. Temperatures will be in the mid 60s and tomorrow's highs into the low 90s with partly cloudy skies, maybe an isolated shower or two, but it will be a little less active for tomorrow. Right now, 59 in Rudoso, we've seen several showers and storms along the Central Mountains, so that is where we've got our cooler temperatures. A little bit further off to the east, we're still in the 90s around Roswell, 93 Carlsbad, and 70s out towards Hobbs. Again, we're looking for some showers to pop up to cool those temperatures down a bit. Lots of moisture hanging out here to the east, drier to the west, and wind speeds, well, we've got some gusts out there, particularly with the showers and storms right along the Central Mountain chain. That's where the gustiest winds are at this time. Could see some east winds moving into the western areas of the state overnight tonight. That could generate or at least bring in a little bit more moisture out there and generate some showers, spotty showers at best for tomorrow. And of course, that all has to be uh, blamed on that front that passed through overnight last night. High pressure in the meantime settles off towards our west. We'll see another front heading into Sunday that will recharge the east with moisture, bringing some more showers and storms. And the ridge will be hanging on out here in the west and bringing in some fronts sliding through the east well on into next week. There's indication maybe we'll see that high shift a little bit further east that will allow some of that moisture back into western areas of New Mexico, but that's towards the end of next week. Precipitation forecast, spotty showers for tomorrow. We'll look for maybe a spotty shower in the mountains heading into Saturday, but all in all, it looks like Friday and Saturday will be our down days, and then we're looking for Sunday to bring in a little bit more moisture to the region. So the central mountains in the meantime are going to be the focal point for heavy rains, particularly around the Sacramento's up towards the San Juans, the Sangre de Cristos, especially up there. And the general trend, what we're seeing with these storms, of course, they're drifting slowly to the south and east. So those communities right along the front of the Central Mountains. Of course, Roswell, we do have that chance. We could see some uh, flooding, maybe some, I wouldn't call it widespread flooding, isolated flooding events, maybe some puddling on the roads. So watch that. As far as temperatures are concerned right now, 90s off to our north in Rapid City, 80s in Denver, 90s up in, or down in San Antonio. Tomorrow's uh, temperatures looking equally as warm, but of course we get that cool off tonight in the 60s down south. 90s in El Paso with 90s also in San Antonio. And there's a look at your numbers for tonight. 40s, 50s, and even 60s. And highs back up into the 70s, 80s, and 90s for many of those communities out here in the southeast. Seven-day forecast, spotty showers and storms for tomorrow. Saturday will be a little bit quieter for us. And Sunday that front will dive on in, bringing in another chance for some spot showers with highs continuing in the 90s.